and here we are again on the road. So now we have to find out the anti-shogunite part of Shoen. And here we are. We'll talk to Ryoma. So you managed to round up Shinsoku? I knew you could do it. My husband arrived just a moment ago. I'm so relieved. Katsura should join us very soon. He's finding out all he can about my brother's situation. Once everyone's here, we'll come up with a plan to save Master Shoin. I'm sure you'll have some ideas. Yep, let's get ready. That's what I want to hear. Master Shoin is set to be executed soon. I've heard from several of my sources, and believe it to be true. I want everyone's ideas on what we should do. The prison walls are unshakable. But what of the people inside? What do you mean? What are you getting at? Some of the girls are persuadable. We can use the Kihetai to bring a few of them over to our side. Shinsaku! Our priority is saving Master Shoin's life. We simply don't have time for such hey, games. Get this mess over with. Do you have any better ideas? Those pathetic officials are nothing to fear. I say we march in from the front. Genius plan, number one student. Will you two give it a rest? Roma, do you have any thoughts? Yeah, as, long, as much as I like experience, I'm not marching in from the front. Our ride by the prison. We could just climb it, then go swoosh right in. Hmm. How does one swoosh exactly? What? You don't know how to swoosh? You know, have a swoop or take a glide. What do you think? Perhaps you can offer us an impartial opinion. I'm going with the. Nope. Mm, yeah, because this one. I'm not gonna stone the front gate. I'm not gonna try to coach nobody. I ain't got time for that. I'm, I'm flying in and killing everybody. I knew it. I knew you'd get it. <laughs> and don't worry. I'll leave the swooshing up to you. Very well. We will do as you suggest. All right then. Everyone, prepare yourselves. Okie dokie dokie. Okie dokie dokie dokie. So everybody's preparing. So I actually had made a, a uh oh before making this video. Oh, excuse me. So before this, I had actually went and I made a mistake and clicked on this quest when there was a, there was a side quest right here. One of the trophies is to do all of the uh, little side with the bonding quest. And so I was trying to see if the quest was going to still be there after we start the main quest but as soon as we started the main quest this side quest disappeared and i don't know if it was ever going to come back so i just said forget i just reloaded my game and then came to this and now we're here so now we're about to do this other quest I know for I shonen pretty confident about to rescue him out of prison but can you really do it swoosh right in i mean So that that should have popped them up. Yeah. That's a you can also give them gifts to build up their trust. And I'm gonna, I usually only give them one, but I'm gonna try to give them more than one gift and see if that works out. Right, see if that does anything. Great man finishes what he started, and all that. Now head to that watchtower. Six hundred meters away. What the hell is this thing at? Oh, I think I've been here like once. That's the prison. Yeah, I think I, I think I only been here just to get this, and that that was it. All right, let's teleport here. Like this, this game definitely got not necessarily a huge bad rep, but it definitely has a bad rep of being not good. 
and uh I can see about the repetitiveness and stuff, but that's that's more so because people are probably used to Neo. And which Neo has a little bit of repetitiveness because you're doing the same thing. You do it's almost like a dungeon crawler. Neo's like a dungeon crawler. The same thing with like uh not Sekiro, but freaking uh Wulong. Cause you pick the quest you want to go, you go through that quest and you're only in that area and then you're done. This is kinda them, but like I said, in a more realistic aspect, instead of um yokais or demons and it's open world instead of freaking uh just linear uh with it so i'm not really sure what people are okay i was trying to go over there but it doesn't matter now not really sure what people are okay i couldn't grab that what are super upset about when it comes to this i like the game so far that i'm playing i'm still in chapter one i'm, I'm pretty sure that chapter one is about to uh end soon But we'll we'll see about that. But yeah, I'm still in chapter. I'm technically still in chapter one. I'm I'll know when chapter one ends because there's a trophy for it. That's that's how I know I'm still in chapter one. Which I did, like I said before, I didn't even know there was chapters until I looked at the trophy list and there's three chapters to this game. I've been playing a, quite a bit of quests and I've already uh, got all of the Yokohama area unlocked. But we still got some more to go. Let's do this. The watchtower ladder is broken. I need to fix it, but I'd appreciate a little help. <coughs> Excuse me. I must ask someone else. I'm short of wood. Could you gather some for me? All right, I, I have a lot of wood, but this is probably some special wood, and it's putting me all the way over here. So, come on, bro. This this is about to be a a back and forth quest. Let me just go get this wood. Come back over here. Get ladder built. Get on top of the watch tower. Probably wait for a minute. Do whatever that's about to go with. Storming the place probably would have been the quickest way to get in. And that's the more brash technique. With, with this being a video game, doesn't mean I'm I'm, I'm uh, above doing the brash technique. Because like I said before, I'm, I'm all about experience. Whenever I play any type of games that have an RPG aspect to them, I'm all about experience. And I'm all about freaking leveling up, over, over, over leveling myself. Is that an enemy? Why is there an enemy here when I'm trying to gather wood? <clears throat> I'm just trying to get some wood. Y'all like I'm trying to do something crazy. Why was the wood stored in a treasure chest like it was freaking something crazy? Come here, bro. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all about my experience, bro. Like, I'm all about gathering a good amount of experience. Where's this dude at? Where's this back at? What the hell is he? That's a guy walking around here. Where you go? Oh, that he was way down there. But I'm, I'm all about getting my experience so I can uh, be over leveled so I can play it like crazy. I'm trying to wait for this dude to come back. I want to I want to run and assassinate him if I can.
I don't think I can. For some reason, that always kind of is a mess up. Damn it, it didn't do it. I did it on one of my other videos. I ran, I ran and assassinated somebody. But as soon as you start running towards me, they immediately get alerted. I didn't even know these dudes down here. But now they about to get snatched up. Oh, because they got more wood down here. The, the actual looking wood is down here. All your boys got snatched up while you was not paying attention. And now look at you. Look at you. Snatched up too. Let's go ahead and knock this out. For me. <laughs> Thanks. This is just what I need. Yeah, then get the daggone ladder built. What? What? Okay, I thought I thought it was about to take me somewhere crazy. I'm like, what do you, what do you mean? Why am I going to talk to somebody else and going other places when I should be getting inside the dag on the uh, the prison? Why am I going to the front of the prison first of all? Like this, this one, this one, it's taking me right to the front of the prison. Like we're just gonna run and why am I not going to the? Wall? I'm so confused with some of this their, their tactics. There's a lot of uh like kung fu inspired games and stuff coming out very soon i think it's called phantom blade is supposed to be like a uh a chinese one that's coming out and then obviously you got wukong there's two different wukongs there's wukong black myth and there's wukong something else that's coming out too the one with the chick on it i heard the plan was to swoosh right in mm. whatever that entails everybody keeps trying to swoosh are you all set? Yeah, let's go let's do this. That's great. I shall pray for your safe return. Have you spoken to my husband? Excuse me. Genzui is liable to rush in there by himself at the last moment. If we wait too long, the sentence will be carried out, and all will be in vain. Please, do all you can to save my brother. Okay. All right. Let's see allies who I want to bring. So everybody, so these two are, these two are bond level two. So I don't know if I want to bring them because I want to get these two to bond level two. So I think we're going to bring them too. Because right now they're not at bond two and we want to get them everybody to us bond level two. And then bond level three. I think the person I got bonds level three so far is Gonzo. Indeed. I'll do my best not to disappoint defeat the formidable foes. See, this makes me not want to glide in because I got to defeat the formidable foes. It's also kind of make... Did they, they, plan, they, they think I'm going to glide? I got enough room to glide all the way over top of this? I do. That's why they think that. I was expecting to do that. That's the way. All right. We need to find all these formidable foes because I'm getting all my experience. Okay. 
This quest might take a minute because I gotta look for everybody. I wish I could creep. I wish I could creep faster. It doesn't make any sense of that. That when I run, I know I've seen a dude down here. I'm trying to look. There he is. Oh, there must be another dude. Yeah, there was another dude. Where are you going? Is there a guy up top? Because who's seeing me right now? Because it can't be him. So we can't get we can get him from that side. So let's go ahead and jump, get him from the back. That's the way. This dude don't even know what's going on. He just did. And we'll get the other dude from the side too. Somebody's is burping and stuff, it sounds like. So some probably some drunk folks around here. Right now we haven't seen a formidable foe, but I'm sure we'll run into one pretty quickly here. Nicely done. Let's see if there's anything here. I wonder if we can cut those things down. Alright, so I don't want to go in there yet, because that's obviously where we're supposed to go. Damn it. But I also feel like the quest is not gonna end that quick. Like that, that doesn't even make sense. We're probably gonna rescue him and then still have to escape out of here. That's what I'm what I'm what I'm imagining. Probably like, alright, now you got him. Now now get yourself out of here. Okay, so there's a bunch of dudes in there. Well, let's go up here and uh light this freaking uh oof. This veil banner first. Okay. Can we get up there? Is there a way up? Not right here, but there is another side. So let's. I hate when it does that. Again, I told y'all before about these these quests, man. I'm freaking I'm level 21. This is a level 16 quest. Hey, 21 and 16 angst aren't super apart, but that's five levels, bro. That's five levels. There's no way these dudes should be hitting me that hard for five levels. Granted, your defense armor and all this stuff takes in advance, but I got the the strongest ones I can have at the moment. For the ones, the strongest ones that I found, I'm pretty sure if I just go searching like crazy, I probably can. I, I barely see who who is seeing me. Whatever, anybody get assassinated, bro? Oh no! You, you think you about to ring an alarm? That's crazy. You you mad crazy? You thought I was about to let you go ring an alarm? How are you swinging through me? How are you swinging through me when I caught you off guard? He sh that dog should never been able to bite me when I got two partners. I have two partners here. That, that dog should have never gotten the chance to hit me.
like shouldn't, shouldn't have had the slightest chance to, to touch me because they should have they should have uh, smacked them up as soon as they seen them. But again, the, the AI in this game is not. Whoop. Well, too late now. Shit out of here, bro. It's too late. It's too late now. I got everybody on me. No, I'm about to die. Oh, this dude, he, he has Guan Yu's Green Dragon, by the way. So there's, there's a there's a part the, the last quest I just uh the side quest I just did it was like hey you, you got an interesting weapon and I didn't notice that first until I was doing the side quest with him but he has Guan Yu's Green Dragon if you look at it which is nice and then he also mentions the romance of the three the three kingdoms as well. He was like oh I, I picked it up while I was in Chinatown. Well, why, why he was in Shanghai? He was like, it reminds me of, uh, it reminds me of being in Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Which, if you don't know Romance of the Three Kingdom, Kingdoms, that's what freaking Dynasty Warriors is based off of. And Guan Yu is obviously one of the heroes of Romance. I won't say heroes, but he's one of the people, the big notable people of Romance of the Three Kingdoms. If I remember right, he's on the sh the shoe side. Brother, you tell me I can't grab onto that? Find one of one of the formable foes. Where you even come from? The crazy part is he the, the entire time my boys are hit him in the back. His his focus is only on me. Like, bro, you got you got people cutting you in your back, and the only thing you're worrying about is me. Like, you ain't looking left, you ain't looking right, you ain't doing nothing but looking at me. While you got people cutting you in your back with a sword, not even just a sword, with multiple swords. Like, one dude has two swords, and one dude has a Naganatha, Naganatha a pole arm. And you just like, eh, they're not a threat right now. The threat is the dude that's right in front of me. The threat is the closest target with the most dangerous weapon. That's who that's who is the biggest threat. So whether that be sometimes, I'm, well, I can't say the closest target because the, the, the threat is whoever has the most da the most dangerous weapon. That's who your threat is. That's your, your optimal threat is. Cause you might have a dude that's in front of you like five feet away but he only has his fist and then there's a dude in the distance 20 feet away but he has a rifle that dude with the rifle is is your most optimal threat because he has a pistol he can reach out and touch you or from a from a distance he has a rifle i mean he can reach out and touch you from a distance compared to the dude with the freaking uh with his fist the fist, you got to get, you got to do some fifty fisty cuffs to, in order to freaking uh, get that stuff down. But this dude with this daggone rifle, he can, he can. Oh my gosh, he can, he, can, he can reach out and touch me from any distance. Like depending on what type of rifle he has, he can reach out and touch me from at least like five hundred meters away. So like I'm 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 at a disadvantage by fighting this guy. So I need to take him out now and first. Dang, bro, the way you about to, oh, I thought he was about to come to the dude. The way you about to get assassinated is crazy. You still get assassinated, but. All right, so I haven't seen any more. I haven't seen any more foes. That that one was the first one we've seen. And this, is this Master Shonen? This is not Master Shonen. So we're supposed to come here and talk to this guy, I guess, first to tell us which way to go. Shonen Yoshida, the new arrival? He was here, but they took him off somewhere. It seems the guards had it in for him. Okay, so now we got to play find the shonen. Let's go. We've seen a ladder. Let's go take this ladder down 
see if this is about to take us like to a formidable foe or something. Yeah, because that's what I want to do. I wanted to get up. I thought I was sneaking around. I wanted, I wanted to get up and stand around while I'm sneaking around in the bottom of prison. Okay, now I'm behind the prison. Let's figure out where we're supposed to go now. Inside here. Oh, yeah, because we wanted to go in here anyways because we wanted to go up those stairs, wherever those stairs was at. This way. Is there another down? Oh, no. Yeah, we want to go. What the hell? How do I get up? This is another stairs. Is this where we just came from? This is where we just came from, right? We came out of here? Yeah. Okay, let's... Find, let me find me a way up. Wait a minute. Anything in here? We want to go over there. Probably got to go all the way around to get over there because it's not gonna let us get on top of this this uh this one. Oh, it is. Let's get on top of here. But ain't letting us get further than that, though. Of course not. So, all right, we gotta find our way around there. They're very particular with these with these spike doors and stuff like that. prison key because I found it but let's go over here because there's probably some formidable foes over here why am I not running I try, I try, I try to run I gotta change my run because I, I think I put it as the hold to run with circle instead of toggle and I'm about to change the toggle because sometimes I push circle and I won't run oh yeah we got another formidable right here Sometimes I push circle and I won't run. Oh, I ain't got no stamina. I'm like, why the hell am I not swinging? I feel like my stamina goes down crazy fast when I'm in a battle, too. And I'm not understanding why. Like, I, I, I understand stamina, don't get me wrong, but I'm not understanding, like, why my stamina goes down. Like, it, it, it almost seems like my character is so excited that my stamina is going down accordingly. And I feel like that shouldn't be the case. Like, I understand that from almost like a realistic aspect. Like, oh, man. What the? Are you? What the hell, bro? That doesn't even make sense. That didn't even make sense how I couldn't freaking uh get some another bell. I got I got I'm gonna have to see if I can knock those bells down, but I don't want to try right now because it's gonna ring the bell if I mess up. Oh he assassinated him. I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting a double assassination because they never do the double assassination. I was expecting to, to, to do it all myself. Oh, here's the second guy. Yeah, look, I was about to go on with the rest of the quest and see if I found them. Oh, oh no! Oh, good, because we had we had more pe more people. I was like, oh my gosh, I thought I was about this was about to be over. It'll be the first time I die in this game. I, you know what? I for I forgot all about the switching aspect of this because I'm so used to playing with my character. 
That's, that's, that's getting old, bro. It's, it's getting old for you to somehow be able to swing through my attacks like that. That's what I will say, though. Unlike Neo and Wulong, when it comes to, like, this this is the only one so far in which they can just swing through your attacks. Like, how, how are you able, why I'm slicing you up, Why, why I'm why I'm slicing you up? How are you able to swing through? Why I'm slicing you? Up? Like I am literally in the middle of cutting your veins up, and you're swinging through and hitting me. Granted, you probably can if you suck it up, but not the way they are doing it. Like not not the way that they they are doing it. Like they legit just do a regular normal attack through you. There we go. I know I'm talking too much, so, but you know what I mean. Got to keep my keep it entertaining in a, in a way. So unless somebody pops up here and be like, "Hey, bro, you, you're doing too much talking. Shut up!" Then I'm gonna I'm I'm keep doing it because I'm talking to myself pretty much. Especially at this time right now, I'm, I'm doing this video way nowhere near at my regular time for Twitch. For for YouTube, it's still gonna be coming out at the regular time that it usually drops so y'all y'all won't see a difference but for the twitch folks i'm at a different time oh this is my weapon i was like what the hell those look like the same weapons i already have let's sell all this stuff is that oh Is that all? Thanks for your patronage. Okay, let's go on here. This part, this part, we towards the end of the quest. These, most of these quests are pretty short too, though. So, so that's one of the good things about it. I know some crazy nonsense about to start happening. Oh, see. Oi, you. How did you get in here? Your mama let me in. Right when I ran out of stamina, he went inside to hit me. Oh my gosh, he shot across that board so quickly. Yo, help me out, y'all. Okay. Oh. Yeah, lucky because I wasn't expecting all that. I need y'all to do something. Now you're dead. Now you're dead, bro. Easy. 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 See, it's easy when you're over level. Level 21. So, it's, it's easy when you're over level. Oh, I need a tread chest. Where's the tread chest at? Hold on, y'all. We got tread chest. Well, that church, church, church is not right here. Church, church is further away. We'll have to come get it afterwards. Master Shonen, you here? Oh, no. We, we, oh, I, can't, I don't think I can open this gate back up. So we can't get church chest anyways. We gotta get church chest at another time. Well, I missed that one. Oh, I think I talked to y'all about it. But I, the reason why the Japanese have adapted that posture, like you see how Shonen was just sitting, how he's sitting with his legs crossed, I mean, not his legs crossed, but sitting on his knees, basically. That comes from a custom, but it's a, a, it's a custom that's like not a good custom. 
so the Japanese adapted this custom right here, and I think the uh, Chinese have, have it as well and stuff. I'm not sure if the Koreans do. I think they, they, they all the three big Asian cultures might it might be around the Asian cultures in general. But the reason why they sit kneeled like that was because it was a thing of etiquette when you meet the emperor. I'm gonna get into the rest of it after this. If it isn't real, Ma, I expect you have risked your life to be here, but I am afraid you must leave. What's that? You mean Fumi's here? It matters not. I cannot leave this place. I have done nothing wrong, you see. Were I to escape, it would be an admission of my guilt. Please, Master Shoei. Japan is changing. But we need you to show us what new form it should take. Listen to me, Ryoma. It is you who will build this nation will define its form for future generations. Listen to your heart. Walk the righteous path. You are capable of greatness. I have every faith that you will succeed. The people must rise and demand revolution. How else can change endure? It is within any individual's power to envision our future and shape it. All they need do is discover their purpose, and my death just might help them decide. Do you see now? Death is my final task. But I have one request. Give this to Fumi. My this might not be a martyr. The fate of our nation, the future as I see it. May it be of service as you build a new Japan. Thank you. I am counting on you. If only we had met in a different place and time. Well, he's adamant about killing himself. <clears throat> Will let himself die for the greater good. Infiltrate the prison complex. All right, made your way to Shonen. All right, now, like I was saying, what it is when it comes to this, uh, to these guys in this this kneeling position is when you met the emperor and or wh whoever, whatever. Uh, uh, Damio, it was Shogun, Emperor, however you want to go to it. You would kneel and you would be in this kneeling position for so long that your legs would go numb so it would make it impossible for assassinations. That's why the kneeling position was there. It wasn't any other like, oh, yeah, this is very etiquette. Like, this is the best way to meet them. No, it was legit for that. The emperor, one of the emperors, I can't remember which one it was, way back was uh, so afraid of getting assassinated that he made everybody that came in front of him kneel in that certain way. And they would be in that position for so long that their legs would go numb. So that way, if you wanted to try to jump up and assassinate him, you couldn't because your legs was numb. And which, honestly, it was it's pretty smart. So now it, it just got adapted from there as a counter to assassinations. And it, and it, and it, and it has stuck to the point where it, it became a part of the tradition for all of them. And it, it just started kneeling and it became way better. And now it's just like a bunch of other traditions and stuff like that that, that we practice in, in all cultures. It has lost the old meaning and now it has a new quote unquote meaning that people do it because of. And we just run with that. And some people don't even know the old meaning behind doing certain things. They just do them because, oh, it's always been done this way or oh, this is because my parents taught me. I'm not gonna lie to her, I don't even care. Actually, I'm gonna lie to her. About me? Dang, that was a big hoax. Even when imprisoned, he worries for others. 
Oh, I am still giving this. Yep. This is my brother's last will and testament. I must give it to Katsura without delay. He will broadcast these words far and wide. I have no doubt. Ah, yes. I brought a fresh kimono for my brother. Please take it. As a token of my gratitude. This better be a crazy kimono. Right. Kimono. Let's part ways for now. We'll hold off any guards who try to give chase. Where my hair band go? Open a Sakura in. Look after Fumi. You hear? I must take my brother's letter to the Sakura Inn. Oh, the quest is not finished. There's no <gasps> escape. Prepare yourself. Oh, ninjas. I must not let this be stolen. Oh, I gotta stand him up. Calm down, brother. The only reason you got through is because I was trying to switch my tech. I was trying to switch my dag on uh, my stances. How did I even know he was here? Let's go. Hurry up, because now I'm about to get ambushed a bunch of more times. Now, then I know. Bitch. You almost got me because I didn't see you. I'm probably gonna get a lot of them because the end is not close. Why the hell are we running to the end? I thought it was gonna teleport me to there. I'm probably gonna ambush a bunch of a couple times. I've seen that ninja. I've seen you. You're not a very good ninja. I'm gonna tell your tell your uh, your grandmaster on you. Ooh, nice one. Come here. Of course she got quick. Of course she got quick. Oh, dang. Oh, it's the blue demon. First of all, taking me down that easy is crazy. And walking away like ain't nothing happened, I'm gonna kill you. I'm, if I get a chance to pick between killing and saving him, you fucking dead, nigga. You you have messed up. Count your fucking days, blue demon. Yo, and you messed up my fit. My headband's still white, though. I ain't walking nowhere. I'm teleporting. Count your Dean. Come in, count, count your days, bro. Count your days. Now let me tell everybody I lost her. What kept you? We've been waiting for ages. Yeah, no shit. Y'all should have came with me. What? I thought she was with you. Mm-hmm. Don't tell me she's. Damn it! Curse those Sogane dogs! You were supposed to protect her! 
I'll kill you too. I'll kill everybody in this fucking room. If they'd wanted to kill you, they would have. But here you are. Did they say anything? He expects us to believe that? He's just trying to scare us off. Master Shoin is being transported to the execution grounds in Edo. Most likely Fumi will be in Edo too. We won't achieve anything standing around here. We must go to Edo without delay. What are you going to do? Honestly, I'd really like if you were to join us in Edo. What do you think? Do I not have a... Okay, so this is probably the end of the chapter. That's probably where it is. Let me, let me just do... I need some time first. That's fine. We need time to prepare, too. <sighs> let me know when you're all set. Is that going to complete the quest? Okay, that's not going to complete... I think this is going to end chapter one. Let me make sure I've done everything. So I, I know I've gotten all the bonds. We've gotten all this stuff done. We've done all the quest, side quests and stuff we could do. We couldn't do no more side quests. This quest we can't even do because we have to rescue somebody in Toby, which we haven't even been to Toby yet. So I believe that is it for this area. There's nothing else for me to do here. So let's go ahead and we'll go to Edo. I think this is about to be the end of chapter one. Honestly, I'd really like if you were to join. You will be able to return later. Good to hear. Let's do this. On your feet. <laughs> The thing about these executions too is usually the uh, blade didn't go through in one cut. Like they would obviously try their hardest having the sharpest blade that's heavy and having somebody like, in order to be an executioner, you had to like, you trained in it because it was considered very gruesome for the blade not to go through in one cut. So you had to keep your blade super maintained. You practice your technique a lot and whatnot so you can get it so you can get this down to be able to cut somebody's head off in one stroke your time has come rise as one who are you talking to you, you, should, you probably should have said that out loud so everybody can rebel That's crazy though that they made him try to make they I have to look up some stuff on him, but they, to make him a significant figure of the game, but you have no real interaction with him other than just in the prison and telling him, him telling him you not to save him. It's like some of the uh, significant figures in some of the Neo games. It's like the first guy in the very first level that's like a actually a big figure in Japan and then all of a sudden he's already gone like you, you learn nothing about him you just did the first quest and he was there and he and you got a spirit from him and that's it hey. this is about to be long probably because then it's probably a cutscene we get to Edo too right. he stayed true to himself right to the bitter end <laughs> Yeah, sure, it was impressive. He was ready for his fate, faced it head on. We could stand to be more like him. This is not time to sit around weeping. Katsura, Shinsaku, Genzoi. His actions have inspired them all, and many more besides. By dying, Master Shoin passed something onto us. What exactly that is, well, I can't say for sure. All I know is that I have to do all I can to forge a new Japan. Now, let's go and join Katsura and the others. 
Seems they're lying low in the remains of Sai Hoji Temple. We'll have to be careful. Edo is the Shogunate's stronghold. The Red Demon has eyes everywhere, so we can't move in plain sight. Okay, just just take me where I need to go, bro. Katsura and the others will have a hard time searching for Fumi. There's little enough to go by without the added hindrance. With Master Shogun gone, this might spell the end for them. Oh, now we automatically in Edo? Oh, we must have been somewhere far and I was in the ass, but now we're already already in Edo. I was counting on Master Shoin to be here. I thought that with him, now our country really stood a chance. But now I see that leaving my fate in someone else's hands is foolish. My future begins and ends with me. I can get a faster horse and stuff now, too. Rise as one. I will take Master Shoin's last words with me as long as I live. What a terrible sight. Bro, you almost ran him over with your horse. It's all a terrible sight. Struck down by cholera. It saddens me to see Edo this way. It's a mere shadow of the bright and bustling place that once knew. We can't leave things as they are. Something must... Saihoji Temple is a secret meeting place for Chosho retainers. Mm -hmm. A special signal is required to enter. I'll teach it to you. Watch. This way! Entering the temple must perform the special signal. Remember what I just taught you. Give it a go. Come on. I just did. I literally just did. Okay, now we're just not doing it. Now, I'm, now I'm stuck. Oh, okay, I'm gonna say yeah, and let me do it. I was just stuck in place. Open the damn gates, Ryoma. Ah, the rains finally let up. They say no rain lasts forever, you know. The way this man is following the path to a T. I'm guessing by that look on your face that you haven't found Fumi yet. Pardon me. Hmm? <sighs> Taka. Oh. Fumi! <gasps> You're alive! Uh, yes. Taka, helped me escape. Now there's nothing to hold us back. But I'm not sure I understand. I'm sure there is much you wish to know. But please, save your questions. There is news of great import I must convey to you at once. An uprising by the Satsuma clan is imminent. Should you join forces with them and succeed, you will surely be able to clip the Shogunate's wings. Perhaps ending this purge you once and for all. Yes, this is all very odd. The clan's lord gave his own daughter to the shogun as a bride. Surely they wield great influence. This purge is one result of the loss of their influence. The Satsuma are now concerned that they, too, will be the target of oppression. Listen to me, Genzui. I want you to decide. 
As Master Shoin's favorite student, it is you who is heir to his vision. I vow to help you in any way that I can. Your time has come. Rise as one. Master, I will listen to my heart and walk the path we believed in. Let us join the Satsuma. To correct Japan's course, we must put our petty differences aside and embrace what we share. What say you? Do I have your support? <laughs> Please come and see me later in Yoshiwara. I wish to speak to you alone. Okay, I believe that is the end of that. Now we should be popping on to a new quest and whatnot. But it hasn't really clicked in yet, so I don't I still don't think we are. But we're gonna say we are for the sake of this video. So we will pop back on next time and uh start with the next quest. I appreciate you tagging along. And uh, y'all on YouTube, y'all want to hit your boy with a like and subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. I'll catch y'all in the next one.